bomb left three dead and 54 students to area hospitals. At approximately 4.30 a.m. on January 19, 2000, a fire was set on the third floor of Boland Hall, a six-story freshman brick dormitory with no sprinkler system and a reputation for pulled fire alarms. That reputation delayed multiple students from escaping the building quickly, including Janos and Simons. We, we got to the hallway, saw that cloud of smoke. We got on our hands and knees and tried to, and tried to find a way out, and we ended up going towards the fire. And the further down we went down the hallway, the hotter the hallway became. I just kept on pushing forward through the intense heat afterwards and trying to find a way out until I got to a door and, and I pushed the door open. And from then from there, when I saw the corner of my eye, I saw a fire but hit my back, lit me on fire. Their entire recovery process was followed for nine months and documented in the Pulitzer Prize winning news series for the Star Ledger, which was turned into a book and eventually a documentary. The documentary includes images of Janos waking up from a three-month coma to discover his face and body had been disfigured from his second and third degree burns. Janos and Simons believe that it is important for students to understand the fire doesn't discriminate and can leave a lasting impact. So many times fire departments or fire personnel talk to students about fire safety, but they kind of give them these, you know, cheesy videos where the kids are just kind of like, ah, oh, that's never going to happen to me. But when you can give somebody something from a perspective, when you're in their shoes, you know, we slept in those beds and those dormitories like most of these kids are.